Hello, welcome to the Warrior's Way. My name is Arno Ilgner. This lesson is titled More or Less, and it comes from an experience I had in 2014. I was invited down to Puerto Rico to teach a clinic and give a presentation. And after that, went out with the local climbers to a climbing area, a basalt climbing area called Calle, and they were showing me around on the local climbs there. So they showed me one climb called Head to Toe, and it's a traditional climb. They said it was 510C, okay? So at least uh, that's what I thought they said. So I got my gear together and, you know, did my best to apply the Warrior's Way processes, stopping at stances, you know, doing the process for thinking, process for decision-making, process for engaging the actual climbing, all of those things. Worked my way all the way to the top and they lowered me down and they said, wow, you on site at a 511D. And so I was thinking, wow, that's a big difference between 510C and 511D. And so this brings up an interesting mental training idea. And that is that we could trick ourselves or find ways to trick ourselves so that we can perform better. And it seems like that's what happened with me in this instance, inadvertently, just because I misunderstood what they were saying. And so this can actually create like short-term success. You know, but ultimately, if we're looking at the difficulty, then we're creating an image in the mind that we end up climbing toward that image instead of the actual rock that is in front of us. So we look at a difficulty grade and we think it's going to be hard just because it's above our limit. Or we see a difficulty grade that's below our limit and think it's going to be easy. We're creating these expectations that interfere and distract attention from the actual climbing that we're doing. So even though it can be, you know, short-term success, you know, if we trick ourselves this way, it's really not the best tactic for doing mental training. With mental training, one of the skills we need to develop is our ability to deal with stress, our ability to deal with stress. So we need to find a way to go through it. We need to be able to see the difficulty for what it is, be aware of like our reactions to that, work with that, redirect attention toward processes that can actually keep our attention on what the reality of the situation instead of our image in the mind. So we need clarity and objectivity. You know, our, our mental training needs to move us toward those ends. And shifting attention out of this image of the, in the mind about the difficulty toward what we're actually engaging on the climb is an important mental training skill to develop. So in the warrior's way, we have five processes that do this. And I was doing this on head to toe. I would stop at stopping points, put in my protection. I would do a process for thinking so that I'm looking at the information in the next section very objectively. And then when I engage, I'm paying attention to what I'm doing with my body, like where I'm stepping and grabbing, feeling the rock, staying relaxed, breathing, things like this, so that I'm working with what's there instead of the image in my mind. So don't make the climb harder or easier than it is. You know, accept it for what it is. This is an opportunity to engage, learn more about yourself, instead of tricking yourself towards some short-term gain. So you can practice this. Just go to a climbing area where you're not as familiar with all of the routes, they're unknown to you, and select some that 
uh, just kind of draw your interest. You know, instead of looking at in the guidebook for the grade, look for routes that have fault consequences that you have experience with. And then climb those routes. And when you, when you get down, maybe do three, four, five routes, you can check in the guidebook and see what the grades are. And, and just see what that experience is like. Because when you don't know what the difficulty is, you're kind of forced into focusing on possibilities. See what that kind of a focus can do for your climbing and your attention instead of what the difficulty of the grades can do. So that's the lesson. You can go to warriorsway.com, check the full text and audio. Also check out our books and courses. And if you'd like to investigate the Warrior's Way approach to mental training, reach out to us. We'd be happy to work with you. Thank you.